In this video we're going to look at a couple of ways of making um, a quick diamond lattice. So we first we want to set up the lattice so I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm just going to drag out just a thin rectangle. I'm not paying any attention to the size of it for the moment. If you were making one for yourself you might want to be a little bit more precise but just this is just a quick way of showing you what to do. So we've got one rectangle um, selected there and I'm going to duplicate that and make some more. So I'm just going to do a row of four which will put four across and I'm going to do another row of four. Um, I think for this one we'll have another one as well. So we've actually got 12 rectangles. I'm just going to move one over about the size of the grid that I'm going to be making. Drag the box around those and we're going to go up to the align box. And first of all I'm going to make sure that, that one I dragged over is the same height so I'm going to align it at the top and I'm going to space them horizontally and you can see they've all moved over and we've got the thin rectangle with a bigger space. Now the space part is the part that's going to be cut out. The rectangle parts are the parts that are going to be making up our lattice grid. Select them again and this time we're going to rotate. So we're going to open the replicate window and we're just going to rotate one copy which will copy this line exactly and turn it around. So there you can see we've got our grid. Now I made that a little bit wide. We probably, oh, not that one. We probably don't need these side ones. So we can just actually just take those out and delete them for the purposes of this. If we counted it up a little bit better to start with, we could have made sure that we'd got the right number. So you can see we've got the basis of our grid there. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go to the modify window and I'm going to weld them. And straight away we've got a, um, a grid, a square grid at the moment, but we want it a diamond. So all I'm going to do is rotate it 45 degrees. So you can see our diamonds are there. Now I think for this purpose I'm going to put this in an oval window. So I'm just going to move that over to one side for the moment. Take my oval tool drag out an oval about the size of the window that I want and that will cut an aperture but I might want a frame around it as well so if we just select that for the moment and go up to the offset offset on the outside just drag our box along until we get a decent sort of shape now obviously that's going to be too big for our page anyway but it'll be okay for this demonstration so we'll just move that out of, one, out of the way for the moment because we don't need it. And let's just cut our actual diamond into the lattice. Now we're going to select both of them and we're going to go to the align window and we're going to centralise and that will put that oval exactly over the grid so that we can, you know, we've got the same space either side. Now at the moment we made the grid first and the oval second. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in that grid. So if we go up to the modify window again, sorry, the modify window and we're going to subtract that. But what that does is it uses the frontmost shape to cut a hole in the background shape. So we don't want a hole cut in the grid. We want the hole, well, we do want the hole cut in the grid, but we don't want the centre part cut out. We actually want the outside part cut out. So to do that we need to bring that grid forward. If we'd made the ovals first and then did the grid we'd be okay but at the moment we did the grid first so that's behind the oval. What we need to do is we need to bring this grid to the front. So if we right click on it and go right to the bottom bring to the front. You can't see anything happening but that has now placed that on top of the oval. So if we select, so we select both of them, go up to the modify window and we're going to subtract. You can't read exactly what that says because it goes off the side of the screen but basically the front shape cuts a hole in the back shape so our grid is going to cut a hole around the oval so if we subtract you'll see what happens. So there we've cut the hole around the oval so the bits that are going to be remaining are the lines, the 
little diamond shapes are going to be actually cut out so that's our aperture if we want it and don't forget we saved over the side here we've got the exact size oval if we wanted to make a frame around it now I say I know that's going to be too big for our card but it's just to give us an idea just let's just group those as we drag across there we can see that they're all separate so if we group them bring in our oval drag the box around and centralize you can see that it's placed it in the middle we can also drag a box around there and group those if we want to and there whatever we do that's going to stay the same you could still cut that if you wanted by rotating it oops our animations going off to the side there or if we want to just make that fit on an A5 card we can just drag the corner and reduce the size so that's how you make a basic um, lattice grid now as well as just move that off the side at the moment as well as using the rectangles as we did before we can cheat if we want to we can use an L just draw several L's across the page select them let's make them longer and we can space them apart by using the character spacing so that we can see where we want them placed and how big we want them with the spaces in between we can do the same thing we can go up to the replicate window and rotate one copy which will turn it around and make our grid shape if we select it and we go to sorry let's take the select tool select them just one click on it doesn't want to drag around there but i've got them selected now we go up to modify and weld it's welded something but it's not welded the whole lot so the best thing to do is just select it ungroup it at the bottom those ones are already ungrouped now when we select it we'll be able to weld so if it won't weld when you first select them you need to ungroup them because if they're grouped they won't weld together and then we can proceed and we can do whatever we want to um, put it in a square or put it in a um, oval shape as we did before so there's two ways of doing it either a single rectangular shape or just cheat and use one of the straight lines you can do it with O's other letters make quite a nice grid as well so I hope you find that quick lesson useful